Hello guys, this is Masai here, and these are my, my predictions for WrestleMania 2. The first match is going to be a Hell in a Cell match, and it's going to feature Mason Ryan and GJM Morris. I think Mason Ryan is going to win this match because I've never seen GJM Morris ever compete. The next match is going to have Chamber Ardoin, and he's going to take on Jimmy R.P. Uso in a no DQ match. Chamber Ardoin is going to win because Chamber is one crazy freak. Then you're going to have the Usos versus Johnny Nitro and Ken Kennedy RP for the WCW Tag Team Championship. The Usos will win that match. The next match is going to be one of my favorites. Kendra Isabel Duff versus Ash Algera in a singles match. Now, if Ash Algera loses, she must become a nun. Kendra's going to win that match because Kendra is more dominant than Ash Algera is. And sorry, Ash, but Kendra's going to win. Then you're going to have Luis Diaz and Kevin Smith versus two mystery opponents for the WWE Championship in the ladder match. Luis Diaz and Kevin Smith will win that match. Because I trained them. Did the shit. Then you're going to have Aaron Alexander Torres versus Tyler Mullins in a TLC match. Tyler Mullins will win that match. Then you're going to have Kevin Smith versus Thomas Panda, whatever, Saxby in the submission match. Kevin will win that match also. Then you're going to have Tyler Mullins versus Sin. Winner, Sin. Because he's Sin. There's no reason. He's Sin. Then you're going to have CM Fake WRP Punk versus Daniel Fake WRP Bryant in a Hell in a Cell match. I don't care who wins this match because I don't know who the hell these two people are. But if anything, I'm going to say Daniel Fake WRP Bryant will win this match. Then you're going to have Kevin Smith versus Chris Crybaby Crick Cage. Kevin Smith will win this match. They're going to have a list list versus Kenny Ibsen versus CM Fake WRP Punk. Kenny Ibsen will win this match. They're going to have Sean Garner versus Chris Cage versus Tyler Mullins versus Liz Niso, Lubinda versus John Helly Grimm in the first Money in the Bank match. Sean Garner will win that match because the other four suck. Or Liz Niso, Lubinda might pull an upset, but that's highly doubtful. Then you're going to have the Messiah, me, versus Phil Firestar Massey, versus Luis Diaz, versus Reese Kane, versus Chesonito Chavez in the other Money in the Bank match. I'm going to win that match because I'm the Messiah. I'm one of the best wrestlers there today. So I'm going to win. Then you're going to have Pamela Darkman and Guy Taylor, and she's going to take on Jesse Gates in a singles match. Pamela will win that match because Pamela's Pamela, and she's the most hardcore lady out there. Then you're going to have my one of my other favorites. Kevin Smith versus Steven Ben Sinoff for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship in an Extreme Rules match and Fall Scott Anywhere. Kevin Smith will win that match. A. I trained him. B. He's much better than Steven. And C. He deserves the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Then you're going to have Joey Nightshade McKenna take on the Martian in a singles match. Joey Nightshade McKenna will win that match. They're going to have Samantha Butler versus Kendra Isabel Duff for the WWE Women's title with Sin as a special referee in an Iron Man match. Kendra wins, Sin marries Kendra. I say Kendra wins. I still think Kendra is one of the best female wrestlers out there. They're going to have Kayla Kelly versus Casey Julie G for the WWE Divas title in a singles match with the referee being Kendra Isabel Duff. Winner is going to be Casey Julie G. The only reason I'm going to say Casey Julie G is because I can't stand Kayla Kelly. The next match is going to be for the WCW Hardcore match, Hardcore title, in the electric cage where pinfall submissions will only declare you the winner. That's going to be the Icon Sin, and he's going to take on John the Hellion Grimm. Icon Sin is going to win because Sin's better than John the uh, Fruitcake Grimm because John just complains too much, and, you know, Icon will win easily. Then you're going to have Daniel Bavegna take on Johnny Nitro for the ECW World Television Championship in a hardcore match. Daniel Bavegna will win that match. Then you're going to have Firestar Hart with Ashley Harmon versus Arson Scythe for the WCW Television title in a Rob Cage death match. Firestar Hart will win that match. Then you're going to have my next couple. The rest of these are all my personal favorites. Me. The Messiah versus Ali Abdel Wahab in the Three Stages of Hell, which is going to be a Last Man Standing, Rob's Cage of Death, and a Buried Alive match for the Hawker title. I'm going to say draw. That's it. 
Then you're going to have Reese King take on Gabriel Gray for the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship match in the last man standing. I don't know, but Johnny Nitro, Johnny, yeah. Gabriel Gray will win that match. I just have a feeling that he has something up his sleeve and he deserves it. Then you're going to have Johnny Gat with Sammy Love take on Steven Bensayanov. And a two out of three falls match, in an extreme rules match, two out of three falls, for the ECW Championship. Johnny Gat will win that one. Then you're going to have D'Angelo Williams versus Charlie Parker Humble for the TNA title. D'Angelo Williams is going to win that match because D'Angelo Williams is one of the best wrestlers in the company today. Then you have Steven Bensina versus Tyber X Mill for the WCW title. I'm going to say Steven Ben Sinai will win this match because he deserves to win at least one match at WrestleMania. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then you're going to have Heather Pullman versus the Icon Sin in the fourth Square Anyway match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in a no rules match. Sin will win because, you know, Sin is the best wrestler in the world and he barely messes up. And finally, the main event is for the WWE Championship. It's going to be a singles match. It's going to have. Ali Abdel Wahab, and he's going to take on J. Prince Warren. The winner is going to be J. Prince Warren. Sorry, Ali, but it's Jay's time to shine. This has been the Messiah speaking. Enjoy WrestleMania, folks. And I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.